Glory be to Jesus Christ. We have a new bishop. <laughs> he is Father Michael Smolinski, the Redemptor, a CSSR. And we are thrilled that this announcement came in. It always comes in in Vatican time at noon, and that was five o'clock in the morning for us. And I heard it at about five after six, and I was speechless. And I cried with excitement, and I cried with thanksgiving. And I couldn't even, sh I, I woke my wife up and I couldn't even tell her what I was crying and excited about. I had to just point to my computer and get her to read it herself. We have a new bishop, Bishop elect Father Michael Smolinski. The Redemptorists got to be doing something right. There are so many Redemptorist priests that have become bishops. And now we have another one, our own Father Michael Smolinski from. Of all places, oh, let's call it Alvina from Aberdeen, from Smuts area, that's where he comes from. He is growing up here. He went to church at St. Peter and Paul, and he grew up there. And then he was, many years later, he was the pastor there. And then now he's going to be coming down off this giant appointment that he had as the provincial superior now he's going to be elevated to the rank of bishop the highest of the priestly ordinations and he's going to be ours he's going to be our shepherd he's going to lead us and i for one am so excited about this i'm sitting here in front of this icon of perpetual help the redemptorists were entrusted with this icon to care for it and to promote it and two weeks ago, we established in the Cathedral Parish this icon, Marian Icon Gallery, with Our Lady of Perpetual Help as the centerpiece. And I just think it's so beautiful and providential that now we're getting a Redemptorist priest to be our next bishop. I'm thinking right now about what Father Michael's mom must be thinking. Very proud to be the mother of a priest and now to be the mother of a bishop. And she thought that he was gone to Ontario to live out his job as a provincial superior for all the redemptorists in Canada. And now he's coming home. I wonder if that's sunk in yet. I wonder how excited she must be to have her son coming back as a bishop, but being close to home. Um, I think in a way, all of us feel a little bit attached to, to Father Michael because it's like we're, it's like a wedding, how you celebrate the joy and share the joy of the couple at a wedding. And I think that's what we're going through now. I think we're going to be excitedly, joyfully accepting him as our bishop and celebrating that the Holy Spirit did for us, did for him. Glory be to Jesus Christ.